What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Rochelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are the bomb.com. Now, in today's video, I am bringing you my week two budget with me and cash stuffing for January 2023. So if that's something you want to see, then stick around. Okay, so first, let's jump inside of our budget planner. I am going to be looking at paycheck budget number two. I already got started on week three because I'm determined to catch up. Even though I know we're in week three of January, I need to backtrack and catch up for week two. So for this week, our total income, let me bring it in closer. Closer than close. Okay. Total income was $5,397.86. This included my husband's income, my RochelleAdamson.com income, and some sister locks income. So basically how we break it down is into my nine buckets. So the first one was savings, 500. I thought would go to savings, but we actually ended up putting 872.44 in savings. Joint savings got 100. We have a small savings account. We just need to add to and have on direct deposit. It gets $10. And then I sent $9.42, which was like the rest of the money from my, my Rochelle business um, to my savings. So total, we saved $991.86. That's a percentage of 16% of our income this week to savings. I will take it. Next up is debt. Cannot wait to give y'all a debt update video. It's going to be soon. Okay, my Rochelle credit card got $450. My husband's credit card got $404. Our venture credit card got $341. Chase $150. Amazon $97. Total, we put $1,442 towards debt this week. This is also a combination of extra money plus the minimum payments. So I always try to pay a little extra when I can. I'm really trying to hit that interest hard and get these get this debt down. So 25% of our income went towards debt this week. Next are the bills. The bills. Rent got $1,190. The independent contractor that helps me with my business got $101. Netflix $21 and school for my daughter $21. So total $1,333 or 24% of our income went towards bills. Next up is food. We normally send $400 every two weeks from my husband's income to food, but we actually sent zero. And that is because officially since my business is really staying consistent for the most part, I told him I got food. I got, I got, I got food. Okay. From here on out, food is me. Food is we. You don't have to worry about groceries or takeout anymore. So his income will now only cover rent and Tesla. I'm trying to cover everything else like debt. I pay for out of my income because y'all, I am the problem. It's me. It's me. Okay. Um. So yeah, food. I just sent money to our food account from my business savings because I just had some extra money left over from the last couple weeks. It's always really busy this time of year. And so I just, I'm really trying to be intentional and get ahead on paying bills. That's what we did there. Next is family. Micah, he usually gets 200, but since I had a good week, I doubled it and I sent him an extra 200 from my business also to spend whatever way he wants. And then Eva, she got $40 because she helps me with my business as far as like setting up my tools, making sure my station is clean in between each client that I see for Sister Luck. So total $440 toward family. The last two categories are cash and sinking funds. So cash, uh, Sister Luck, contributed 175 my Rochelle business 150 and my husband's phone sinking fund that he gets paid like reimbursed every time he gets paid got 70 so a total of 395 will be going to um cash envelope sinking funds and savings challenges this week plus the extra that I had from the week before if you watched my previous paycheck budget number one I never stuffed some of that cash so we're going to catch up on all of that electronic sinking funds my business tax got 300 Tesla sinking fund got 296 and my sister locks tax got 100 for a total of 696 dollars so Total expenses for this paycheck came to $2,775 and I'm cool with that because that's like pretty much half of the income. So the other half we can spend the way we want and I can't wait to see that number go even lower. So now it's time to stuff some cash. Okay, so first let's unstaff, unstaff, unstuff my wallet. 
and my cash envelopes and my clear A7 binder. My envelopes are from Sean Versation, the clear binder from RochelleAdamson.com. Hubby and Eva is empty. My cash envelope is also empty. Groceries, we did not grocery shop this week. It was, I haven't been feeling good, so I honestly haven't been leaving out. So that is leftover money. Tips, we have some tip money. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars. I usually only put five in here, but whenever I spend from other categories, I just keep all the ones and put them in tips. And then eating out is empty. I think the rest of these are empty, except for our coins. Okay. So if we set that to the side, total this week, we unstuffed 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 66 dollars and change. Now before we stuff any more cash, we have to make a plan for this one. So first off, uh, I don't have any nipples yet. I have some pennies. Y'all these the same pennies from last year. Not even going front with y'all. It's a peso in here. And then dimes. And then quarters. I'm gonna take the top off. And since we have the change out, this is the rest of my coins that I did not need from last year. Ooh, I thought I was going to have enough to roll up, but I didn't. So we're just going to roll that into this year. So if you want to know how much I saved in 2022 and change, definitely check out my video where I talk about unstuffing all of my savings challenges. It was a lot of money, y'all. It was a lot of coins. I could not believe it. Cause I'm that person in the store that's always like rounding up. All right, let me let me uh, get this done. That wasn't close. And dying. Alrighty. Starting off right. Okay, now let's talk about this, Shani. We are going to, of course, of course, you know, we're going to do some savings challenges. The one thing I am going to do is I am going to add this money to at least a good bulk of it. Where is my envelope? Hold tight, y'all. Okay, so my husband's phone syncing fund, we are gonna start that all over again. So I have my envelopes. I really wanna get a month ahead on all of these bills. So we're gonna take the 50 and we're gonna add it to bills because honestly, real talk, I did not save money out of this cash stuffing to put toward his phone sinking fund. I cannot believe I forgot to do that. And so I want to at least put something to the side. So grocery money, here we go. These are envelopes I custom made. You can grab them at RochelleAdamson.com. That feels good to pay your bill like once a year and have the cash for it saved already. I switched to Mint Mobile. It's the stuff. Okay, now the rest of this, the rest of this, the fives and the ones. Let's hop over to our savings challenges. 
we in the 5K edition. We are going to put it in the debits day off. So I forgot already. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dollars contributed to the debits day off savings challenge. Guys, I know you've been asking. It's coming later this month. I'm dropping the cash envelopes to match the savings challenges. Um, let's just go ahead and choose a date. We'll say January 30th. January 30th, You, if you're signed up for notifications on my website, RochelleAdamson.com, you're going to know. You're going to know. And they're going to be well-priced. You're going to love them. And they are going to be, I think I'm doing A6 size this time. Because I did the A5 last year like this, which I love. But I just wanted to mix it up and try something different, you know. And I'm just going to stick my savings one in here too. Because savings challenges, savings, yes. Yes. Okay, so that's debit stay off. Look at me with some new Sharpie markers. <laughs> you see how I just laid that in there? You see how? You see it? We're going back to the old school stuff. Okay, so we stuffed like $16. So we can shade a little bit. We can have some fun up in here. Up in this dancery. I feel like Bob Ross. Anybody watch the Bob Ross Netflix special? Child. Honey. Off the hook. Off the hook. I really need to make sure I have my affairs in order. Because I don't want my family to suffer like that. I feel like I started talking and I shaded in way too much for just $16 this month. But I'm pumped. So I'm going to do it. If you want to know the Sharpie markers that I'm using, I'll add them to my Amazon list. I'll do that for y'all. It's the least I could do. Okay, now let's reverse back. Reverse, reverse. To Saveopoly. And I don't know what I was doing last week, but I had the thing on $5 and I shaded in $5, but then I already had $5 in my cash envelopes. It was a lot. I don't know what I was doing. So anyway, I have my cash breakdown because I have like a master cash breakdown that I use inside of my undated 18 month uh, budget planner. This is like my holy grail. This is like the 2023 planner is where it's at, but this is the stuff. So anyway, um, for the Saveopoly, I'm supposed to put $50 in there because we're going hard. We're going hard. I just picked Go, you know, and Go said save $50. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not waiting until the end of the year to get ahead. So Save I Believe now has $55. Just like that, we are under the 300, under the 400 mark. Now, this pink will probably not match, but it's all right. It's so hard. Okay, so that is safe. I believe next up is the zero out challenge. Oh, y'all, I've been thinking about the zero out challenge. I really want to stuff cash for all my savings challenges in my book. But the zero out challenge is like an electronic savings challenge. So what did I decide? What did I decide? I'm going to match my own challenge. So whatever I save online, I'm going to save as close to the whole dollar as possible in cash because my goal is to grow our buffer and our savings passively so that by the end of the year, we can have some money in the bank um, for just in case. Um, and I'm learning my lesson from 2021 and 2022, where I kind of went about it the Dave Ramsey way. And I just had like a small emergency fund. And then I threw everything else to savings, not to savings, to debt. And then when things came up in life, I wasn't ready. So we're not doing that anymore. We're going to get ready. We're going to get ready. Okay, so zero out this week. Got $20.18 sent to savings. So we're going to save $20. Do what works for you guys. The other thing that I do is when it's a good week, like this week, I save um, up to the second whole dollar. So like technically the zero out challenge is from a penny to $9.99, but I do on good weeks like this, I'll go up to $20. You see like last week was another good week. And so I did um, 15. So you just have to do what matches your budget. That's why I have savings challenges to match budgets of all sizes, because every week is not the same. You know, it's 
let's see how I'm doing in May when it's quieter. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody's in this in the zone right now, so they buying up everything so they can start budgeting and start their savings journey. So you know, it's it's going really good. So we did the debit stay off. Now let's do the emergency fund challenge and we are going to add $45 to this one. So I chose the number 45. If you have not received your order yet and you're watching this video, you should probably um, have an email with your tracking information. I wasn't feeling the best this week, plus I still pushed through and worked. So your girl just had to take this day and just woosa. Like the only work I did today was what you're, what you're seeing right now. Um, but Last night, I got myself together a little bit and I was able to ship some orders because I don't like getting too behind. So anybody who placed their order after January 10th, your stuff is on the way. $20, $40, $60, $80, $85 in our emergency fund challenge. That is awesome. Everything is awesome. Alrighty, so $45. Right. Yeah, $45. Perfect. Perfect. Next up is the keep the change challenge. Okay, so I have the challenge overview. Each week you count up your change, coins, or dollar bills. I should have put the dollar bills in here, y'all. Why didn't y'all remind me? Oh, I'm going to start doing it. And save. Then you use the counter on the next page to keep track and shade in one coin. I did not add up how many coins I have added. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to say 225 and quarters because that I'm not counting all that change again and I normally don't contribute that much. So 225 and quarters and then let's shade some. I think we deserve it. We are very we are on our journey to saving 400 four with a four. $450 in change. Last year, I saved over 100. It's possible. Now that I know, now that I see, it's possible, y'all. Okay, next up is the 26-week challenge. This one, I also chose the highest number I could since it was a good week. So another $45 is going to the 26-week challenge. I think I have these in order. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So we now have 20, 40, 50, 55 dollars. I will take it. I will take it. Okay, $45. Next up is the lunch break challenge. I love this new savings challenge because if you know, you know, I'm a foodie. I love to eat out. I love to eat in. And I'm really trying to control our grocery and eating out budget more. And so every time I did not eat out this week, I set aside $11 in my head. This week was three. I already have it. No, not this week. Last week was three. This week is four, but I'm saving that for the next cash stuff. And so anyway, we're going to save at least $33 this week to represent the three times I did not eat out. If you can't do 33, do the 11. If you can do 300, do 300. Make it match. Make it match. Okay, so I'm going to save a total of $35. 20 25 30 $35 for the lunch break challenge. Because, like I said, ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness, did I rip it? <laughs> this is why I gotta hurry up and get my life together and get these envelopes ready for y'all, because that was not cute. 20, 25, 30, 35, $40 now in the lunch break challenge in the envelope. That ain't cute. It's okay though. It's okay. 
So, ooh, how much should we shade in? We're doing this once a week. So I'm guessing I have 52 here. So, hmm, let's do the paper bag this time. I don't know why I didn't want to shade that part in, but I didn't want it to be team too much. So lunch break challenge. Okay. And then we have our monthly savings challenge. So we are going to catch up because we are technically in week three already. So I'm going to set aside $115. That's right. That's right. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, and 15 dollars for our staycation January where we start the year with a little low cost leisure. A little low cost leisure never hurt anybody. So we should now, if we did this right, have saved a total of 150 dollars for a nice little staycation. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, and 150. I went ahead and got it out the way this time, y'all. I'm not playing in 2023 this time. Okay, so January's monthly challenge is done. with this one y'all isn't that cute i think eva would approve and my mom my mom loves to color and stuff okay so savings challenges check check now it's time to stuff some cash envelopes so first up is my wallet cash hubby and eva are going to get 25 Next is Ro. Ro is going to get $20. That's me. In case I need some toiletries or something. Next up is groceries. I usually do 50. This week I'm going to do 100. And this is because we are determined to not eat out a lot. So I really want to make sure we're good to top off the big grocery haul that we did at the beginning of the month next up is tips i'm gonna beef this up to 20 and this will roll over each time i want to start paying for all my like say we go out to eat at a restaurant or we go anywhere that you know they need tips we're gonna pay to pay for that out of there now eating out is only going to get 20 dollars we're gonna see if we can try this i really want to save some money for that lunch break challenge and then we are going to add $20 to miscellaneous. This 20 has seen better days, my goodness. And our wallet cash is all stuffed. Okay, next we're gonna stuff Eva's cash envelopes. We just talked about it earlier and she is going to start stuffing, having two cash envelope binders. So she'll have her everyday carry wallet and then she'll start keeping this one at home because it's starting to have some cash cash in it. So um, Eva is going to get $20. Technically, I don't know what this cash envelope is for, but I don't know, we're gonna stuff it. She updates the totals. Giving is going to get $5. It's empty. Next up is spending. Spending is going to get $10. It's also empty.
Next up is saving. It's going to get $20. She's a saver, natural saver, just so you know. As evidenced by she is her father's child. So she has now saved 20, 40, 60, 80, $85. Next up is food. Homegirl was a foodie like her mommy. It's empty, so we're going to add $10. And then she should be all set for the week. I filmed so much content, I forgot to give you guys a gift card update. So I went shopping last week and I got a Target gift card. I think it's for five or ten dollars. But I did the video twice because I also like do a a what is that called? Portrait video for like my short form content. So TikTok, Instagram Reels, all that type stuff. So I had put it in here during that video, but I forgot to show y'all. But yeah, gift cards is on the up, and I have two more to print off. So definitely check out the Fetch app, y'all. I'm starting to print out smaller value ones so that I can give away more gifts. Because sometimes, like, I have a client who gives me a referral and I don't want to give them a $100 gift card. Maybe I want to give them a $50 gift card to the movies or something like that. You know what I mean? So I'm just, that was just a total example. I don't know how much I'm going to be giving away. And also, I still have not cleaned off these things, so we're not even going to talk about it. Amazon is going to get $10 per usual. So it has 20. Next up is Beauty. Whoops. Beauty is going, is empty. Oh, no, it's not empty. My bad. My bad. Beauty. Beauty has 50. It's going to get 100. I think I'm going to use that, right? You know what? I'll do 250s. Uh, yeah, I'll do 250s. Okay, so Beauty now has 100. I wonder if I'll regret that. That was right. That was right. Car insurance is next. And it has 100. And we're going to add 100 more. That's what that 100 was for. Next up is car registration. It's going to get $70. Because I need to save at least... Oops, wrong one. Looking at the wrong thing. I need to save at least 70 per month. Trying to be a good girl. 50, 70, 90, 110. Honestly, I paid Eva to clean off the backs of my cash envelopes. So <laughs> I just need to hand it over to her. Escrow, I'm skipping. I will do a whole mortgage payoff update video. We're going to update these envelopes. We're going to talk, y'all. We are going to talk. Eva has 20 and she's going to get 20 more. Now that's 40. Eva investing, she did not have any profit from her business this week, so I do not add to it on those weeks because that's an Utma. Fun money is next, and we're going to add $10. I had another account for her, investing account, so this has 30 now, um, on the Stockpile app, but they started charging like they was acorns. I dropped acorns too. I dropped them years ago. Investing is free. They must not have gotten the memo. If you do choose to use them, that's on you. But I have too much debt to be paying for unnecessary stuff. I look at my bills every month like, what can I cut out what, so that I can save more and pay off debt quicker? Anyway, gifts is up next. It has four, it has 20. We're going to add 20 for a total of 40. Guests has 20. We are going to add 10. So it now has 30. I just like investing in things that have dividends. So when I tell you my Robinhood, my M1 Finance, my any of those, like the ones that have the dividends coming in, I haven't even been contributing that much to them. And they're still, the gains are just amazing. Um, Hawaii is getting five. This is for things like moving or buying a car in Hawaii, like big ticket items. And I don't plan on having those this year, but I'm still going to slow slowly add to it health i'm not feeling good and it could just be that feeling but i don't like that i don't feel good i'm adding 200 dollars, 50 100 50 200 also i'm learned my, i've learned my lesson because we had a little medical um event last year with our daughter and honey the bills are still rolling in they're still arguing over who's going to pay what and when and i just want to start to get ahead on health so 50 100 50 200 220 
And that's something I didn't have to worry about before. But honestly, I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, you know, I'm overweight. It's, it's all of that. I have to start being more real about that. Um, I am trying to lose weight. I have lost a couple pounds. Let me know in the comments. Is that one of you guys' goals in 2023 to be a healthier version of you? Whatever that means. It, it's on me. It's on my spirit. So I'm talking about it a lot. Um, health and hygiene is going to get 20 for a total of 40. I'm breaking my rule and I'm going to add to Louis Vuitton slowly. It's going to get five. It now has 25. I deposited all that money from last year and put it in savings. I don't know. I don't know why I'm adding to Louis Vuitton. I think I might want to change this envelope to just say luxury. Just because I might want to save for something slowly over time that's not Louis Vuitton. I have enough Louis Vuitton. I'm, I'm good. Next is Mike. And he is going to get 20. So he now has 40. Oh, I felt like my tray moved. Then month ahead. Yes, yes. I have a month ahead update. So we are going to add $45 to this so that now I have enough for our daily, not daily, we have a monthly um, auto transaction where we donate $75 to this to something. So 20, 40, 60, 75. I now have enough to do that and get one month ahead. All the other money I already contributed, well, added to savings. So it's just sitting there. So now I can update this and put that I added 45. And both of these are now going to be for the donate. The donate. That's just my reminder to myself. It's going to probably get cleaned off. It's okay. Property stuff, we will update in that video that we talked about. Ro, myself, I'm giving myself 20. So I now have 40. Investing. I do Mommy Traders monthly um, $1 a day investing challenge. And so I already have 25 and I want to make sure I finish off January. So we're going to add another 10. And all I do is deposit this money, y'all, every month, 20, 25, 30, 35. Sometimes I do it even when I don't remember to record it and share it with you guys. But that is money that I throw into either M1 Finance or Robinhood. And I usually choose stocks that are, um, that, that are, they give dividends. That's all I know. That's, that's what I've learned so far. So we stick to that. <laughs> Next up is self-care. It's going to get 40. My husband and I are starting our monthly massages back because self-care. It ain't got nothing to do with luxury. None of that. It's for the mental. It's for the body. Taxes. This is for my husband's W-2s to get done. It's going to get five. So it now has 25 with the cute, cute vintage 20. And then last in this cash envelope is Tesla. It is going to get 50. So it now has 150. So those are my electronic, no, my cash sinking funds that I must stuff every time I have income. Next up, we're going to stuff for our businesses. So first up is my RochelleAdamson.com cash envelopes. And um, the first one I think is income. I haven't cleaned these off yet either. <laughs> it's going to get $50. 20, 40, 45, and 50. Oh, first cash stuff of the year for these cash envelopes. I give myself, I pay myself a lot more, honestly, but I don't know. I don't need anything right now. So I'm putting it toward other goals. Next up is bills. Bills is getting 20. Next up is giving. Giving is going to get five. Then next up is shipping. Shipping is going to get 25. Those bubble mailers are getting expensive. Next up is products. Products is going to get $50, 20, 40, 45.50. Somebody flying out, y'all. Excuse me. Aloha. Kakahi, kakahi. I don't know. Something like that from the Hawaii song. 
Spending is up next, it's getting nothing. Then we have office supplies, it'll get five. Then taxes. Okay, so taxes, I have switched officially over to electronic. I felt like I was pulling out so much money out the bank and I don't wanna have to worry about, you know, for safety and stuff. So we're gonna now use prop money. So $300 this week went to tax money. I'll update it next week because I don't know the exact amount, but every we'll we'll update this every time it's extra hundred. Um, PO box is next. It's going to get twenty dollars. Getting down to the wire, y'all. We stuff so many envelopes. Normally, I don't stuff all of these envelopes every video, but it, like I said, it was just a good week. Um, and then equipment is getting five dollars. And that's these cash envelopes. And then the last ones are my sister locks cash envelopes. This is mostly electronic, like, but because I receive cash payments, I still, yeah, I gotta give myself something in cash, right? Okay, so income, $20, five, 10, 15, 20. I can tell my math is off already. You know what, I'm not gonna pay myself because something is off and we're gonna, we're gonna keep moving forward. These is going to get $15. I was like, I remember. I'm supposed to add $15 each to fees. And then I'm supposed to add another $15 to supplies and equipment. So I done gave away my income. I don't know what I did. Oh, there's some money in here. So now supplies and equipment is $20, $25, 30 35 dollars and then taxes. I need to clean this off. It's empty, but I'm going to add 500, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 in electronic sinking fund, our electronic sinking fund for taxes for this business. And that is it. Shoo! That's all. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Until then, peace, love, and budgets.